Hello, dear editors. I grew my TikTok theme page to 40,000 followers in only 30 days. So today, let's create an Iman Godzi short video. Prove yourself you're right and set the bar really low. You know, like a lot of people, for example, they want to wake up at like 5 a.m. Okay, no, wake up at 9. We will combine Premiere Pro with AI technology. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm just finding a sound that I really like and that I'm just going to copy it. I go to this website called sstik.io to download the MP3. Now I'll just import that into my uh, Premiere Pro and then change the sequence settings to 1080 by 1920, which is short format. And then I go on YouTube to find the footage for our background. I'm choosing this luxury car video. And then to screen record it, I just use OBS Studio or NVIDIA GeForce. I think that's pretty easy to use. So once you're inside of Premiere Pro again, we're just going to be selecting an in point and then an out point for our car. So I wanted to stop here and then I'm just going to drag that on top of my timeline and then delete the auto audio. Perfect. And what we want to do now is that we want to search for something called the auto reframe. This is going to keep our Lamborghini in the middle at all times. So press analyze. Then I'm adding a dip to black at the end and then sort of like an audio fade, which is called exponential fade. Then I'm also adding the dip to black at the start of our video. All right, perfect. So the next effect we're going to be adding is called color HLS. And then I'm just going to drag the saturation down to minus 100. Boom, now we have a gray. Then I'm adding a Lumetri color. And what we want to do here is that we want to just want to, you know, change these values to get more of a depth. So I'm adding contrast on about uh, 20. And then I'm selecting the, uh, the highlights to about minus 10. Selecting the shadow to five. And what we also want to do is we can go down to the creative and then we can also add a bit of sharpness, which we're going to be adding 20 on. Uh, maybe 15 actually and then I'm going down to the curves and this is important we're going to be making sort of like an S curve so bring the top upwards and then the bottom here a bit down so it's going to be like a S a slight S as you guys can see this just makes the footage look like a ton better like a lot better and I think I'm actually happy with that I'm just gonna adjust it a bit more just like this to get a bit of more depth and a bit more highlight and then we're just going to scroll all the way down to the uh, vignette and then I'm just going to be dragging the vignette a bit up uh, because I think you know it's great to just have some sort of vignette so it's going to be coming in here at the right side as you guys can see so just copy my settings if you want to use them yeah, that looks good. So now let's see what it is on and off. That is on, that is off. Just look at that. Just look at that difference. That is on and that is off. And if you want to use Submagic, which is what we're going to be using for our captions, then make sure to use the code JONAS10 for 10% off. But it is also free. But as you guys see, we're inside of Submagic now. And you can see that the captions are very great and it looks just like Iman Godzi. We can also select this style of captions, which you guys saw in the thumbnail. But there's a ton of different styles that you can go for. But I think I like this Iman Godzi style captions the most. You can also customize these if you want to. Um, but we're not going to be doing that as of right now. Uh, but there's a ton of different styles that you can play around with. And I just really like this. So make sure to use the code JONAS10 if you want to check this tool out. But it is also free if you just want to play around with it. You can also go into the captions and change the words yourself. Or you can add a magic B-roll. And that is just going to be stock footage that will come up. But yeah, I'm selecting the Iman and uh, that is what I'm going for. Then when you want to go and export it, you can also get a description and hashtag generated by AI, which I think is super nice. So yeah, I hope you found this video great and about creating viral TikTok theme pages. You know, when I did this, the most important thing is that you're just consistent and you're posting every single day. You know, my first 10 videos didn't get any luck, but once you start getting consistent, that is when the result will come. So don't just be like people that just change the captions. Also go into the, uh, you know, the footage and change the color and do all of the extra little stuff. I hope that you found this video great. So make sure to like and subscribe because I'm trying to hit 10K. Thank you so much for watching this video and 